What's poppin' YouTube? It is your boy Steals Forever, and I'm back at, or at, or at, back in the building. That's right, your boy Steals Forever is back in the building. Hitting you guys with one more video tonight, and I just read the news. I thought, well, I read the news while I was at work. When I got out of work, I said I wanted to speak about it, and today, Steam announced basically the Steam Box, or the Steam Boxes that's coming out sometime next year in 2014. And they actually um, basically stated that they would have uh, a bunch, basically a bunch of different types of models of Steam boxes. And basically what I figure is that they would have uh, different entries. Like, you know, you have like a, a low level one, a middle level and a high level and maybe an ultra level box. I mean, I don't know because they haven't really gave specific details of each design of each box. I, but I do know there are going to be multiple boxes for sale next year. 2013 and basically they all steam boxes now the reason why I'm making this video is in fact now for those who don't know I do have a gaming PC that's right here pretty okay not as beast as I like it but I'm definitely um, sometime in uh, November October I'm definitely gonna do some upgrading to my game gaming rig PC rig but as I heard about the information, I was thinking about this before they even announced it because Steam was actually giving me some um, hints about this a couple days ago when they announced the OS system, the operating system that they would be running on the actual Steam boxes that they announced it today. Well, it started making me think like, even though I know you know Steam is basically a PC company and that that these Steam boxes are basically PCs, which in my mind, I, I think the Xbox One and the PlayStation 4 are basically smaller PCs, basically. But it started making me think like, you know, we're having so many different entry points of Steam boxes, wouldn't it actually kind of make it more box? If you get what I'm saying, like, like we all know when you deal with console gaming, it's box because of the fact the developer has the, the, the design game within the, the, me the medium of what the hardware can do itself because you would want the customers to actually be able to play those games on that specific piece of hardware that you're actually developing for. So it kind of led me to believe like, you know, right now as PC gaming stands, like, you know, the sky's the limit, you know what I'm saying? Like the sky's the limit because they can kind of make games kind of like everywhere because of the fact that that some people would actually spend like you know thousands of dollars to build a rig just so they can run ultra with, with five or six mods on it and you got some people who don't really care about ultra but they run high you got some people who just want to get them to entry level and they run medium and so the developers can kind of design outward you know what i'm saying the sky's the limit but since that you know steam is kind of coming in and confining the box to say hey these are Excuse me, y'all. The boxes that we're making, not the box that you're building as as the consumer, not the PC rig that you know me and you guys are building as the consumer. But here's the game, the PC boxes, Steam boxes that we're designing as Valve. We want you to design within the box of these. You see what I'm saying? So it makes it seem like. You know, PC gaming may actually suffer from this. You know what I'm saying? Like, especially when you start looking at um, the graphics and the effects and the, the actual uh, frames per second and things like that. And not saying they're gonna suck by no means, cause I'm pretty sure they'll still be very adequate and it'll look very nice. But I don't think the developers are gonna have that freedom like they used to of just developing in the sense of the sky's the limit. Because if a lot of people jump on this theme box, and it become like the centerpiece for people who run Steam and PC gaming. It's like, I don't think a lot of developers and publishers are really want to waste the time on designing for pe people outside of this, this box. You know what I'm saying? Like whatever the low end box is to the high end box, I think they're gonna kind of want to stay within that box. Now I could be wrong. Nothing may change at all and we may still just stay the same. You know what I'm saying? The skies can stay, still be the limits. I don't know, I don't figure you guys would know. I, I don't even know if Steam knows or the developers knows. It was just something I was thinking about. You know what I'm saying? Like real games like, you know, like uh, Planet Side running Ultra or Battlefield running Ultra, will it suffer? You know, I'm pretty sure Battlefield 4 won't suffer, but maybe like Battlefield 5, like 
you know, just like I'm saying, because they have to design within this box. And Will Steam actually pushed the idea to design games in this box so, you know, everybody can play it. Because you, you get what I'm saying? Because of the fact that if, if I bought a low end Steam box, they would want most games to be able to at least play on these low end boxes. That's the only way to sell it. The same thing is they would want most games to play on the middle box. The middle to high, the high end box, or even the ultra box. And the question would be, would they even make a box that would be like an ultra box for the ultra hardcore PC gamer? You know what I'm saying? And, and if they don't, where's that gonna leave um, some of you guys that actually spent a lot of money in, you know, having these really beast PC rigs? Like, are they really gonna go to waste because of the fact, or would this actually improve it? You know what I'm saying? Because this may even optimize. PC gaming, like you know, I just said a little earlier, I think it could hurt PC gaming, but then again, it actually could help it because, in the sense that it would mean that more developers would have to spend more time actually optimizing the actual games to run on multiple different types of PCs and these Steam boxes. Who knows? I don't know. You may know, and if you do know, or if you do have a great idea or suggestion, maybe you should you know just leave it in the comment section below because this is a really a topic. I've been thinking about for the last couple of days and it's a topic that I really want to talk a lot more about because I think it's really interesting and I think in the next couple of days or a couple of weeks or months as we go further that I'm pretty sure Val will actually you know put more information out and I'm pretty sure more developers will start coming to the forefront you know giving us more information too because I also read just about 15 minutes ago that they was actually sending out I think a thousand maybe it was 500 to a thousand of them steam boxes which one i do not know but they were sending them out to random people just to start beta testing for nature which is cool will i get one i don't know because like i said i already got a start and i'm definitely just gonna boost up the graphics card and there's a couple more things i might be tweaking it but you know who knows whatever like always hit the like button like i said before it helps me gauge if you guys are feeling the video also if you don't if you haven't went to my facebook page and follow me yet at facebook Definitely add me because where I keep all my updates on gaming and what's going on with your boy Steals Forever on my Facebook page. If you haven't subscribed, subscribe, man. What are you waiting for? Hit the subscribe button. Like always, it is your boy Steals Forever. Later.